Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. Lamont Peterson gets knocked out by Sergey Lipinets. Now, Sergey Lipinets, you know, it was a heck of a fight. It was a close fight. It was a competitive fight, and it looks like it was inching towards a draw towards the end of the fight. But Sergey Lipinets put the foot on the gas on Lamont Peterson, and he hurt him multiple times in this fight. Lamont Peterson was boxing beautifully early in the fight, but I predicted that this would be a close fight and possibly even a draw. I also stated that, you know, Sergey Lipinets could win this fight if Lamont Peterson decided to stay in the pocket more rather than sit on the outside and box as much as he needed to and that's exactly what happened in this fight you know Lamont Peterson did not use enough lateral movement did not use enough boxing ability and he sat in the pocket and brawled again and again and again he got caught with a lot of shots he got beat down in war over the course of that fight and you know something I find funny is when I see the fight and I see the way that you know Sergey Lipinets drops Lamont Peterson and knocks him out not even Errol Spence Jr. could do that you know we've seen Errol Spence Jr. power in question and we've seen by the fact that he was not able to knock out a guy moving up two weight classes in Mikey Garcia and when he fought Lamont Peterson he was not even able to put him on his back the same way that Sergey Lipinets did he was not able to administer the same beating yes they threw in the towel but it was not the same and if you know boxing you know this and I just find it very interesting this fight was a very curious fight and it tells us a lot about Mikey Garcia and Errol Spence Jr. as well as Sergey Lipinets and what type of live dog he is in his division of 147 pounds I think Sergey Lipinets can make a lot of noise at 147 and you know if you look at Sergey depending on who he fights with that type of style with that type of pressure he can make for an action-packed fight i think he's a very entertaining fighter a rugged fighter and a strong fighter i think sergey lipinets you know showed us a lot about his heart determination and his pop and his shots and how strong he truly is he looks more hydrated at 147 pounds he looks stronger at 147 pounds and it makes more sense that he's getting closer to 30 at 29 years old that he's staying at 147 pounds instead of 140 you know and he has the right trainer now and joe goosen which is going to just bring out all of those qualities i've seen a lot of head movement from Sergey Lipinets. I've seen a lot of power from Sergey Lipinets. I think Sergey Lipinets is going to be a tough challenger for anyone at 147. And uh, you know, I think he's just a very entertaining action-packed fighter with a lot of pop in his shots and I think he's going to make for great action-packed fights to come. But once again, unbiased as always, it's the IBFP. Please share, like, and you must absolutely subscribe.